Hello friends, welcome to my channel and today we shall be talking about how to control your PCOS symptoms using herbs and plants. We know that PCOS is a complex hormonal condition affecting more than 116 million women world over. In India, between the age of 20 to 29, more than 16% women were found to be affected in a survey which was conducted in 2020. So what happens in PCOS that there is irregular period, there is increased amount of androgen which is the male hormone produced by ovaries and adrenal gland of the female and there is insulin resistance. In the body of the female there is increased LH, there is decrease in FSH, there is increase in estradiol, there is increase in testosterone, there is increase in the DHEAS and there is and ovulation along with insulin resistance. So herbs which affected these hormones positively, they were the one which helped in controlling the PCOS symptom. Now the herbs and plants which I'm about to quote, it was found in a research conducted by National Institute of Biotechnology that these herbs have substances or flavonoids which help in the PCOS by various mechanisms. In the description below this video, I will give you a link to all these products that I am talking about. So the first product or the first plant is turmeric or the haldi as it is called in Hindi. It has got curcumin, a substance which has got anti-inflammatory property. And we know that in PCOS there is chronic inflammation in the lady's body. By decreasing this inflammation, turmeric decreases insulin resistance as well and thus benefits PCOS. So you can take capsules of turmeric or as in Indian cooking we any which ways use turmeric or haldi. So continue doing that and that will be beneficial. Second is vitex or chaseberry. So this is a substance which is used in Europe since ancient times for correcting the hormonal disbalance in female and that too has been found to be effective in controlling the PCOS symptoms by regulating the LH-FSH ratio. Third one is licorice or in Hindi it is called muleti which is again used in Ayurveda since a long time. Licorice is also called glycorrhiza and it has been known to regulate the hormonal disbalance and decrease insulin resistance. It should not be consumed in too much amount because it is known to increase the blood pressure. Thus, a moderation in its usage is very important. Fourth is flaxseed and linseed which is full of omega-3 fatty acids and lignan. It has been found that it regulates the hormones as well as it decreases the androgen level in the body and thus help in ovulation. Fifth is spearmint tea. It has been found that spearmint tea actually decreases the androgen levels in the body and by decrease in the androgen level body the hormones becomes regulated and thus it has beneficial effect in PCOS. Then comes the friendly old coconut. The coconut is full of MCTs or medium chain triglycerides which are extremely beneficial in improving insulin sensitivity and thus it is a good idea to use coconut oil or to use coconut milk and that will help you in PCOS. Then comes fenugreek or methi which is again a spice which is used in cooking in India since a long time and that decreases the insulin resistance and thus helps in PCOS. Next to follow is aloe vera and aloe vera gel has found to have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. You can mix it with apple cider vinegar and you can take it and that will decrease the inflammation that is going on in the body during PCOS and thus will help you in improving the PCOS sign symptoms. Then comes fennel or soft. Fennel or soft has been used since ancient time to regulate the periods and it has got anti-androgen property. It can be used as spice as it is done in the Indian cooking but it can also be taken as tea. Then comes ginger or adrak which is again a part of Indian cooking and it is something which decreases the inflammation as well as reduces the insulin resistance and by both these mechanisms it is helping in 
PCOS. Then comes black cohage. That is a herb which has been used in controlling the menopausal symptoms since a long time. And that has been found to have hormonal regulating properties and can benefit in PCOS as well. Pomegranate, that tasty food. It has found to have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. And that was also found to be beneficial in women who had PCOS by decreasing the oxidative stress on the body. Then comes ginseng which has again been used since several years and is supposed to make our body adapt to the increasing or decreasing stress in our environment and thus it helps in PCOS symptoms by decreasing the stress levels. And then came Gokaru which has been used since ancient times in improving the fertility and for regulating the hormones in both males as well as females and it has found to have properties which help in regulating the hormones in PCOS as well. And last but not the least is anise which is used in cooking as a herb and that has got anti-inflammatory as well as anti-androgenic properties and should be consumed if one is trying to control the PCOS symptom. While these herbs have shown to have potential effect on your body, it is advisable to use it as an adjuvant to your medical treatment and to your lifestyle changes. These cannot replace them these can be an adjuvant. I hope that you found this video useful. Do subscribe. If you like the video, I would be sharing more PCOS centered content, realizing that there are so many of our women out there who are suffering from PCOS and they don't have any reliable answer or information to correct their condition.